won't happen if we pushed arcade games to the extreme. No! Come down! Drop us! No, don't drop us! Attempted to speed up getting ready for school. <laughs> and tried to harness the power of animals. I'm flying! Ali is crazy and cool at the same time. He thinks of stuff you'd never really come up with. I describe Jackson as funny, wild, and totally nuts. Hey, is the ultimate in cool. Ah! He pushes everything to its limit, whereas I just want to see stuff explode. Ah! Gentlemen, haven't you ever noticed that some arcade games are cool, but haven't ever changed? Uh. They've been around since, like, our parents were kids. Those games need a total 21st century upgrade. They need to be more like video games, where you can enter virtual worlds and change the settings. Yeah, like the number of players, the difficulty settings, everything. Dude, what if we made old school arcade games more like video games? Where you're in the game and control the action. Yeah, let's become the game, starting with the classic, Whack-A-Mole. <laughs> Okay, it's every dude for himself and three-player wackadoo. I'm the player, you're the dudes. I've got 60 seconds to hit you guys as many times as I can. <laughs> Dude with the least amount of hits is the winner. Dude, what would happen if we tried to become a human arcade game? I think CJ's gonna win this because he's compact and mobile. Jackson's a big dude. There's no way he can dodge as well as CJ. You already have one hit. So do you. CJ's all about instinct. I think the best plan is to have no plan at all. But this experiment calls for strategy, and that's why I'm gonna win. Just hit whatever comes out. That's what I'll do. Let's see what you got, Ali. <laughs> yes, boy! Ow, man, that hurts. I feel bad for Mo. One on CJ, two on CJ. CJ thinks our plan is no plan. But my plan is to delay each one of my pop-ups until CJ goes up so Ollie sees him first. Jackson, what are you doing? Three on CJ, zero on Jackson. Four on CJ. <laughs> I love this game. I saw Jackson using the delay tactic, so I shifted my focus to nail him too. He's on to me, so I'm gonna change my tactics from random delay to repeat. You can't get me. 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 Now. Yeah. What up, Jackson? Finally. I got you, Jackson. That's what happens when you get too cocky. Four to one. Four to two. Four to three. Four to four. Four in a row. Are you serious? It's time to mix it up. It was four and four, and we were almost out of time. Neither of us wanted to make a move. But I wanted to prove to Ali that I could do just one more head pop and he'd never get me. Gotcha! No! Are you serious? With one second left, Jackson tries showing off and I nailed him! CJ wins! You won! <laughs> nice! <laughs> now that's how you whack a do. All right, whack-a-mole is cool, but I need way more action in my games. Ring around the rosy. Wait, 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 wait. I'm thinking foosball. Foosball's dope, but three of us can't play. It's a two or four or six person game. Not if we change the settings. I'll be life-size foos, dude. Oh, you'll be the goalie. And we'll get soccer players to try to shoot goals on you while me and CJ move you to block the shots. Dude, what would happen if we tried to become life-size foosball players? We had the lab dudes build us a life-size foosball rig. It was awesome. We strapped Ollie in and we were ready to go. We have foosball. This doesn't look too safe. But it was. The lab dudes patted him up. These players were gonna kick 11 balls at Ollie. All we had to do was block more than they score and we win. CJ and Jackson are going to be communicating left, right, left, right, and I'm just gonna be blocking as much as I can. Do not hit me in the head. Say foosball. Foosball. Soccer balls move faster in real life than they do in arcade foosball. So for this experiment to work, we're gonna have to push this heavy rig around in time to block them. I don't think this is gonna work. Look, CJ and I have been friends for a long time. We're gonna be able to communicate and predict where the soccer balls are gonna be. <laughs> Here we go. Oh! The first shot was right up the middle. An easy block. Oh, After that first save. Oh. It was just goal after goal after goal. Bram, touch me! Bram, touch me! This was a problem. 
Jackson and I were each doing our own thing and not communicating as a team. No, but that, that side is right. No, this is left. No, that's definitely right. Oh, oh, man, another goal. And it was costing us points. Go, 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 go! Your way! Push towards you! Right. Then things went from bad to worse when they scored again using my face mask. Cease fire! Get this on! Hurry up! These soccer dudes were creaming us. We only had one save and they had five goals. Whoever makes it to six first wins. The three of us had to work as a team now to block all of the remaining five shots. Go! Yes! Yeah. Now that me and CJ were in sync, we were able to focus on the kicker, and we could see where they were kicking. And that's what gave us the advantage. Jackson, help me out, man. All right, let's do it. No! No, 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 no! Towards me! We tied it up five to five. One final tiebreaker shot left. Winner takes all. We need to block this to win. All right, spin him. Me and CJ knew that a situation like this called for the patented 360 spin around defense block. Spin me faster. This little dude can handle it. Spin him. <laughs> we won. I'm proud of you, buddy. We made foosball way better by turning Ollie into a foosball dude and playing as a team. Teamwork. But we still haven't updated the most frustrating arcade game of all time. A game nobody has ever won. The Claw Game. We'll change the settings to make it a three-player game, and we'll form the Claw to grab the prizes. Oh! Dude, what would happen if we try to become a giant crane claw and finally get the prizes? So we got this giant crane. This thing is like... 30 tons and 70 feet tall. This is gonna be our claw arm to help us get prizes. Look at all this stuff. We've got two minutes to play the game, and once we get airborne, we have to choose one of these 300 animals, pick them up using only our feet, and communicate with each other and the crane dude. Test, test, test. This experiment will take way too much coordination. I've got three words, impossible. Lab crane dude, raise us up. Whoa! This was awesome. Now it was time to go for our first animal. Look, I want the gorilla. So I spotted a killer gorilla, and I said, let's go for it. Go down. Go all right, this way. Go. Go all right. So here's what happens when three dudes are all yelling directions at once. Confusion. Drop. Drop. Drop us. No, don't drop us. So it took way longer to get into position than it should have, but we're finally right over the gorilla. Like that, that way. way. Drop. Drop. We've got the gorilla in our claw legs, and he's perfectly lined up for the prize bin. Jackson, let it go! Whoa! No! It got stuck, and if it doesn't go down, it'll block other prizes. Stop us down! We gotta stop him down! We gotta stop him down, go down! So I had the lab dude lower us down, and I pushed him in using my foot. down yet! Yeah. Yeah. Yes! We did it! All right, let's get another one! So we got Jackson's gorilla, but it took up half the time, and Ollie and I still needed to get our animals. Then I spotted an elephant with a nice big trunk that our feet could grab onto. I see it. I see it. Right yeah. ahead of me. Poor choice, CJ. That elephant's gotta be the heaviest one in the bunch. Woo! See? It right, started right, to right, slip. Right, it was too heavy. Right. Hold on, elephant! Hold on! We were just barely holding on to the elephant. I didn't know if it was gonna make it. You got it? Yeah, I got it. Jax, you got it? Yeah! All right, let's go drop it. Hurry, it's heavy! All right, we're two for two, but we've only got 22 seconds left to get my animal. And I spot a leopard on the far wall. Forget the leopard, pick something closer. No, I want the leopard. There's no time. I want the leopard. We lined ourselves up and we managed to grab it. All right, we did it. Yeah. Yeah. But we were so busy congratulating each other, we forgot to tell the crane guy to stop lifting us. Now we only have a few seconds left and we're so high, it's an impossible shot. Get ready. It's set! We're too high! Coming up, press the robot button, and boom. Ooh. The perfect way to get ready for school. And one giant leap oh. for dude kind. I'm flying! 
We're taking old school arcade games and going new school by making them bigger, badder, and bolder. Now we become human claws to try and finally nab some prizes by picking up three animals in two minutes. We're down to our last animal, who we're way too high and there's no time to come down. We're gonna have to make this shot long distance. Back it up just a little bit. Get ready, get set. Bob's away. Clog it. Most people will never get one prize from it. We got three. <laughs> this isn't just a victory for the dudes. This is an accomplishment for the world. So, dude, what would happen if we try to become a human arcade game? No pain, no gain. Dude, what would happen if we try to become life-size foosball players? Yeah! Team dude spins to the win. And, dude, what would happen if we tried to become a giant crane claw? Yeah! The dudes hang tight. Hey, dudes. I'm Joey from Boston. I hate getting ready for school in the morning. I have to get up so early, I always end up getting cleaned up and dressed half asleep. By the time I'm finally ready, I barely make it to the bus. Yo. What would happen if you guys tried to make getting ready for school in the morning easier and faster? That's a great question. I have the same problem. I mean, I don't even really know the answer. <laughs> oh, I do, dude. You need to computerize your bedroom. Ooh. You'll never be late for school. Everything will be automated, like even your toothbrush. <laughs> so thanks to Joey, I have come up with a contraption to make me not have to lift one finger to get ready for school. All in under a minute because I have to catch the bus. Dude, what would happen if we tried to speed up getting ready for school? So I had the lab dudes trick out my bed. It was tuberized, computerized, robotized, Jacksonized. CJ, you control the first two buttons. You gotta get the robot to brush my teeth and then give me the water so I can rinse out the toothpaste. The longer you press it, the longer it goes. CJ, the dentist at your service. Ollie, the wireless button, that's you. My job was to make Jackson's bed stand up so Jackson would slide into his pants. Once I come down, I need to spit. So, Ollie, you need to pull that lever, okay? Right after that, I need my sunglasses. So, CJ, push the big, long button. All I knew was I had buttons. So I had to figure out what the buttons were buttoning. I need my hair blown out. So, Ollie, that's when you flip the top. I have to turn the fan on so he can blow out his hair, because it's a big mess. CJ, if you press the robot button one more time, it'll throw me my hoodie. And boom, I'm ready for school. Anything without lifting a finger is hard. But getting out of bed, putting on your pants, brushing your teeth, rinsing your mouth out, putting on sunglasses, getting your hair blown out, and getting a hoodie thrown to you without lifting a finger in under a minute and without Ollie and me making a mistake, that's almost impossible. The boys may not have faith in my computerized bedroom, but I have faith in them. Hit it, boys. Let's go, let's get it started. Whoa, it's working! When that robot arm toothbrush started roboting towards my face, I was stoked. Oh, yeah. Dude, Jackson has a robot brushing his teeth. Someone said it was time to rinse. CJ wasn't letting go of that button. It poured, like, half a lake of water into my face. Oh, yeah, there you go. So far, so good. The bed. Uh-oh. My first task was to push the button. But it didn't work, and the clock was ticking away. Jackson was dangerously close to becoming the victim of a glitch. So then I realized I needed to push the wireless button. Ben, oh. There we go. Man, this automated process was so cool, I could have pulled a sleeping slot. Sleeping while sliding into my pants. This was revolutionary. You gotta spit, you gotta spit. Nice. Glasses, get the glasses. Look, Mom, no hands. The guys found a rhythm and were total machine dudes. Ollie hit the fan and CJ was ready with the last step. Getting my hoodie tossed onto my shoulder was the only thing standing in between me and the history books. But CJ has to time the release just right. If he lets go of the button too soon, the hoodie will drop to the ground. If he holds onto it for too long, the robot will throw the hoodie across the room. Either way, the experiment will be a failure.
Let's go, guys. <laughs> nice, CJ. Now that's time. The robot arm throws him his hoodie, and he's out the door. Now, I'm his buddy, so I can tell you from personal experience, that is an accomplishment. <laughs> All right, let's go to school. I don't want to be late. I wonder if that thing can take tests for me. So, dude, what would happen if we tried to speed up getting ready for school? Automated awesomeness. What was all that about? I'm just channeling my inner animal, bro. You've been watching way too much TV. That's a fact. But dude, how successful would we be if we could harness the power of animals and hunt down our prey? Like, for real. That'd be awesome. We'd become wildlife. All right, so what kind of wildlife would you be? We all know I'm the brains of this group, so I have to be a smart animal that can trap their prey and eat it. So I'm gonna be a spider and weave my web. And CJ, cure my prey a fly, and dinner. This right here is a never-before-seen momentous occasion. Will Ollie the spider be able to catch CJ the fly before he escapes? All right, dude, mate. What would happen if Ollie tried to harness the power of a spider and trap his prey on a web? Come on, here, I'll show you how it works. This web right here is like enthralled with Velcro. So when CJ jumps onto this bad boy off of this trampoline right here, he's gonna stick to it because he's also wearing a Velcro suit that'll stick to the web. How do I look? You look wonderful. I've been buzzing all day, man. What's your escape route? I'm just gonna worm my way down. There's no way that Spider Ollie and his web are gonna trap me. Cause I'm strong enough to rip this Velcro suit off that web. Now Ollie doesn't have a Velcro suit on, so he won't stick. But I'll have to move carefully so he doesn't fall off his own web. As soon as CJ hits my web, he's dinner. Cause he's not gonna be able to escape faster than my A-legs can catch up with them. It's gonna be kind of sticky, but no, not too sticky. I'm gonna fly after all. What do you plan on doing once you get down? Um, probably going to eat some poop. I'm about to get back in the bush, let nature take its course. It's not up to me anymore. Ring the dinner bell, ding, 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 ding. CJ fly, fly. Web straight ahead, no! Get out! When I first hit the web, I realized it was way stickier than I thought. Stay back, I have diseases. Get out of there! So I see Ollie's spider coming down his web towards me and he's getting ready to pounce. He almost had me but then he slipped and fell just as I managed to unstick myself. But then I rolled over and got stuck on my back. Then I made my move. Please, ah! Ah! We're harnessing the power of animals and hunting each other. CJ the Velcro fly is stuck to Ollie the spider's Velcro web. Stay back. Can CJ free himself before Ollie eats him for dinner? Ah! I finally managed to unstick myself, but then I rolled over and got stuck on my back. Then I made my move. So at this point, Ollie has me in like some kind of spider death lock. And the weight of the two of us ripped the Velcro suit off the web. Yes! Ooh. I have found my dinner! Yo! I gotta eat! Nom, 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 nom. Okay, so spiders have great attack methods, but the coolest animals in the entire animal kingdom don't need to lay a trap to get their dinner. It's time for the biggest heavyweight fight in the animal kingdom, dude. Careful. Cheetah, me, versus the gazelle. That's, that's you two right there. So I'm a cheetah on top of a 50-foot cliff, and I'm sneaking up on two gazelles. I need to get down there and attack before they can go anywhere. Dude, what would happen if CJ tried to harness the power of a cheetah and jump off a cliff to catch his prey? So I'm a gazelle and I'm just moseying around the wilderness, and I stumble upon a fallen gazelle brother. Hey, gazelle dude. What happened? I got into a little fight with this bird. It's OK. But neither of us knew it wasn't OK. We had company. Ah! Ah, it's a cheetah! I'm out of here! I'm out of here! Help me! Oh, really? Here's the key to outrunning a cheetah. You have to get a head start. And no matter how fast CJ is, it's still gonna take him forever to get down that cliff. We are not gonna get eaten. This is where I put my hoof down. Get on my back. Oh, this isn't... Go, Jackson! This isn't okay. They're on the move. Time to get going. Oh, oh he's a heavy gazelle. He's a heavy, injured gazelle. I can see they're trying to escape in their gazelle mobile. 
Even though Gazelle Jackson is strong and fast, what he doesn't know is that the lab dudes hooked me up with a rappel line that stuntmen used to fly. All right, Jackson, we're gonna be lunch. Get it up. CJ hadn't even started rolling down the hill, and we were already halfway to the gazelle mobile. And, uh, and then we fell. Oh. They're down. Now's my chance to pounce. I'm flying! Wow, I just flew down a 50 foot cliff. The cheetah's coming. Wait a minute, a flying cheetah? That's not part of the deal. We need to hurry! I got down so fast, I thought I had the gazelles for sure. But the lab dude still needed to unhook me first. But I'm a cheetah, the fastest land animal on Earth. And CJ, a really fast human. Come on, Jackson! He's gaining on us! I had a crazy head start on CJ! He's coming! Cheetah's Gazelle. coming! How is he riding back of me already? The cheetah's coming! We were almost at the gazelle mobile, but so was CJ! He was gaining on us! He was right on top of us! Get in! Oh, no. Instead of jumping, I decided to block the gazelle mobile. No! No! It didn't work. I was so close, they were in my paws! Hey, CJ! We're going for lunch! You want to come with? Even with a zip line, we still outran CJ and left him in the dust. So, dude, what would happen if Ollie tried to harness the power of a spider? No! The web worked! And, dude, what would happen if CJ tried to harness the power of a cheetah? I'm flying! CJ Cheetah takes flight, but doesn't get the bite. Hush. <laughs> so today, we learned that three claws are better than one. <laughs> Make getting ready for school a breeze. It works! <laughs> and prove that sometimes missing lunch can be fun. Go!